Hello, I'm Jean. I'm coming to you from Hagley Museum and Library. Hagley Museum is a historic industrial site located along the banks of the Brandywine River. Uh, the DuPont Company began here in the early 1800s. Do you know what they manufactured here? That's right, black powder. Black powder was manufactured here for about 120 years. I'm in Gibbons House. This house was part of Workers Hill. Uh, there were several other workers' homes here, and this is the only remaining standing workers' home on Workers Hill. John Gibbons and his wife Catherine Gibbons and six children lived here. Uh, he was the foreman of the DuPont Company in the powder yards. That means he was the boss. As we look around the kitchen, you'll see some differences between the Gibbons kitchen and your kitchen at home. Behind me is cast iron wood stove. It burns wood to power the stove. Your stoves and ovens at home either are powered by gas or electric. Uh, another, and speaking of electric, another difference in this building is there's no electricity. So how would the Gibbons keep their food cold? They don't have a refrigerator. So instead, they have an ice box. So the ice would be delivered by an ice wagon. Mrs. Gibbons would put this in her window for either 25 pounds, 50 pounds, etc. Whatever she would want would be on the top. And the ice man would deliver blocks of ice. The blocks of ice would be put in here. And then on this side, she would put her milk, cheese, butter in this area to keep it nice and cold. Today we'll be making lemonade. It's a spe it was a special treat back then in the 1800s because lemons and sugar were very expensive. They had to order it to be imported from either Florida or the Caribbean. So Mrs. Gibbons would wait and make it for a special occasion. For instance, maybe uh, Fourth of July would be a really good one because it would be summer and the uh, powder yard workers were off that day. That was the holiday for them. Um, so before we make lemonade though, we have to wash our hands. Pull my sleeves. Now, there's some soap. This is a soap saver. There's some soap inside. You swish it around and get it healthy. Mrs. Gibbons made her own soap. She made it from ash from the wood stove and uh, animal fat, which was lard. So it took a long time for her to make this. So she didn't want to waste anything. They didn't waste anything back then. So this is the soap saver. So I'm going to wash my hands well in here in the soapy water. And then I'm going to rinse them in the clear water. The lemonade was made of sugar, lemons, and water. The sugar in the 1800s was ordered in a cone. It was a hard cone of sugar. They had to break it up. And um, but now, fortunately, we have granulated sugar. So the first thing I'm going to do with the lemons, they're already washed. So I'm going to take them and roll them. So we can release the juices, get the juice loose inside, and it will be easier to squeeze. Mmm, smells so good already. Okay, so now we have to squeeze the lemons. This is called a reamer. This is my favorite. There are two different kinds. This, is also, this will also squeeze lemons, put the lemon in there, and then squeeze it like this. I'm going to use this one because it's my favorite. So you hold the lemon like this. Get it down here and just keep turning and turning and turning. Now I also have a pitcher of about four and a quarter cups of water. So as I squeeze the lemons, I'm going to add my lemon juice into the water. Now that I have some of the juice squeezed, 
I'm going to pour it through here so that I don't pour the seeds because there are quite a few of these lemons into the water. Now I'm going to add sugar. Um, the sugar is going to go into this cup. Now this is not a measuring cup that you would use now. Uh, back then, Mrs. Gibbons didn't have standard measure cups like we have with quarter or half and uh, <clears throat> a cup. So she estimated, and she was very good at estimating because she cooked a lot. So I'm going to put three quarters of a cup of sugar in here. I still have to break up some of the lumps. Hmm, let's see. One more. Okay. So then I'm going to pour it into my lemon juice and water. And keep stirring so it looks like it's dissolved. This is delicious lemonade on its own, but I think I would like some ice in it. Um, when you have ice at home, you go to the freezer and get ice cubes or in the door of the refrigerator. But Mrs. Gibbons had blocks of ice, so she would have to chop it on her own with an ice pick. So carefully. So I'm going to hold the ice like this and then So then I have little chunks of ice I can put into the glass. So now I'm going to pour my lemonade and enjoy a nice refreshing glass. I'm going to go out to the porch and drink it. Ah, delicious. Thank you for visiting me on Hagley's Field Trip from Home. For more information on the educational programs, please visit our website.